Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhinav and uh, in this video today we will be seeing about the UPSC CMS CADR preference. So what CADR would you like to choose and what CADR you want to choose and apply it in the detailed application form. So in this video I will be first telling about uh, my CADR preference which I chose uh, during my last year uh, detailed application form filling and then I will also tell you about the vacancies available this year and I will tell you about each cadder, just little things about each cadder and then about the vacancies and which one would uh, choose for you, that's up to you to decide. So basically we'll be seeing about uh, how, how to fill the cadder preference and what type of cadder would you want to fill. So before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. If you haven't joined our uh, telegram group, the link is in the description. So this is the cadder preference that I had filled last year. So if you see in the detailed application form, you'll be uh, asked to first, you'll be asked to choose which category you want to join. So category one is uh, central health services post and category two under it comes the railways, uh, ordinance and G uh, GDMO in New Delhi Municipal Corporation and uh, GDMO in East, North and South Delhi Municipal Corporation. But if you see in this year's uh, detailed application form, you would not be seeing this ordinance factories because it has, this has been included in the central health services also. So first you will have to choose which category you want. And then in those category, you will have to uh, have an order of preference. So in this four, which one you want at first, you will have to put as number one then number two, number three, number four. But if you want uh, central health services as your first preference, then you will this will come above. So your first preference will be category one and in category one central health services, order of preference one. Then second preference will be category two and then in this uh, things you can change your orders. So coming to this year's uh, vacancy, if you see here, there's uh, 349 vacant posts in central health services, 300 in railways, 500 in, uh, in uh, NDMC, and then 184 in the east, north, and south Delhi Municipal Corporation. So first, if I were you, uh, I would go for uh, central health services because the vacancy is more, or in the railways, because again, the vacancy is more. But uh, remember, in this video, I'll be telling you about uh, post, each post uh, briefly, and uh, if you, it's up to you to choose which post you want because some people uh, would be uh, wanting to go in railways or they want to go in the go as a GDMO in uh, Delhi Municipal Council. That's completely up to you. So I'll just give you a brief idea. So the first one, if you see here, due to more vacancies, I would like to go with Central Health Services. If you see in the Central Health Services, the work time is uh, quite short. So before I start, I also want to tell you that, so I have covered uh, about central health services in a separate video and about the railways in a separate video. The video for those links I have attached in the description. Please, uh, if you want to know more, if you want to get a detailed idea about these two posts, you can go to that video. So if you see uh, in this video, first I'll be telling about the central health services. So the central, in the central health uh, services, the work, working hours is quite less. So it will be like uh, kind of six hours or seven hours work. And then after that, you are uh, free. You will have a uh, lots of free times. So you can make use of those those times also. But yet, uh, but you can't do private practice because you will be you are being given non-practice allowance. The probation period for central health services is two years. Uh, and uh, or other these things also two years, but for the railway is just one year. So uh, other than these things, the central health services, the network is quite good. So you can be posted uh, anywhere near to your hometown if you get a good rank. It's not like you'll be posted uh, somewhere in the north or south or any anywhere that you don't know. Wherever you have, uh, wherever your hometown is near to that, you can get a post in. Central Health Services, if you get a very good rank. 
then uh, apart from these things about the central health services is uh, i've heard that the uh, getting transferred to from one place to another it's uh, quite difficult but the good point about central health services is that you can get uh, once you got selected you can uh, start your uh, work as soon as 4 uh, months or within 6 months because compared to other things this is uh, quite early that you are going to start then uh, in as in other services in central services also there is uh, sponsorship quotas for uh, pg uh, in the central uh, there is a central quota that you will have uh, sponsorship quotas and then regular promotions are being given the central health services so this is the basic things about the central health services so if you want this to be your first option first preference then mark category 1 as your preference one and in central health services mark is number 1 so then next coming to the category 2 if you see in as a admo and railways there are 300 posts and railways is also a very good option for you because uh, in railways the working hours might be uh, quite more compared to the other services you will also have to do quite some administrative works in the railways apart from that you can also be called for the emergencies any time the 24/7 then uh, you see in the railways the perks are really good you will be getting railway passes there are railway schools and uh, railway colonies where you can uh, you can stay also many other uh, things are there but the most important thing is that the railways is a very very extensive network and there is more chances of you uh, getting the preferred place of work uh, in railways compared to other services okay so because the network of uh, railways is really good you will have uh, lots and lots of uh, places to work and in railways uh, you will have to go go for a training uh, you can search about uh, naiir training center for railways and then uh, apart from this uh, in the railways the work times are quite more as i have said the perks are really good and there is a special dnb quota for the railway students so we'll also have to note about it then coming to the gdmo in new delhi municipal corporation and gdmo in east delhi north delhi and south delhi municipal corporation these uh, posts will be posted mainly in uh, uh, delhi and uh, transferring of post is quite difficult and i have also heard about uh, in this uh, gdmo at delhi the salaries uh, getting salaries quite delayed and also in this post once you have got selected it takes some time uh, for you to start your work so apart from this they these uh, have two years of probation period and uh, the work is uh, quite good here it's uh, more of uh, clinical work to be on the better side and uh, that's all for these categories so you can uh, choose whichever you want it's completely up to you which one to choose here i have just given a general idea for more details about chs and the railways you can check the descriptions in the link uh, the links i have uh, attached in the description so that you can check it there so i i hope i think that you have will be uh, filling up your daf forms so while filling make sure that uh, you make a very good choice and uh, mark it as your category 1 or category 2 that's all i wanted to say in this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe we'll be seeing you in another video thank you